Yeah, obviously, I would love to hear Dustin's uh, Dustin's aspect on it, Dustin's side point of view. But uh, you know, when it comes down to who Dustin Poirier is, he's a consummate professional. He's fought for the UFC title multiple times. He's been the mainstay, and I've been the guy who's been you know quietly watching him from outside the organization for a long time. Knew we were going to end up in this path eventually, and now here we are on your show. So November 12th, we get to do it. Listen, Mike. You ask anyone who knows me or anyone who's heard me speak about Mike. I've been watching the guy fight for a long time. He's fought a lot of great guys i've always had praise for him you know he's done some great things it's not like i'm going into this fight with a personal vendetta for the guy but this is just it he's he was a different guy whenever we sat next to each other in abu dhabi and spoke so apparently dustin poirier has got a problem with me i'm not quite sure what it is but i ain't fighting dustin next Chandler does not like Dustin. He didn't like the way that Dustin treated him when he came into the UFC. He said that Chandler didn't deserve to fight him and all that stuff, and he knew a lot more to do. But after Chandler had all this success and a lot of eyes are on him now, Dustin all of a sudden wants to fight him. It kind of rubbed Chandler the wrong way. Chandler is playing the same thing against him now. He's saying that Dustin doesn't deserve to fight him. That Dustin Poirier will fight Michael Chandler. It's confirmed now at UFC 281 in New York. Coming over to the UFC, being on the, the world's biggest stage, it's everything I could have ever dreamed of and, and even more. So I'm excited that this is going to be a big, big year and the train ain't slowing down anytime soon. I got a lot of tread left on the tires and I got, I got UFC gold in my future. Dustin Poirier, your time is coming. In your quest for 30, you know you got to beat somebody. So beat me if you can. It gets me back on track. You know, I've never lost two fights in a row in my career till now, and I don't plan on starting November 12th. It's just part of my legacy. You know, another world champion added to my list of wins. It means a lot for me that I can pick myself up again and show the world that I'm still in this, show myself that I'm still in this. Dustin Poirier, a couple nice wins over Conor McGregor, um, and then lost to Charles Oliveira in his last fight in the title fight at lightweight. So uh, he's going to look to avoid back-to-back -back losses for the first time in his entire career. Poirier's never lost two straight. Michael Chandler, he of course is going to look to build off that highlight reel finish over Tony Ferguson with that front kick to the face. Um, and uh, right now, of course, in the UFC, he is two and two. So looking to get that winning record in the UFC. The bad blood between two very nice guys. But I just think that those two guys, man, they want to put on shows. You put them together and this, this is one of the first times I can remember Dustin Poirier being truly, you know, disliking a guy. So it's going to be one of those great swing bouts. They kind of the bang for your buck. People have talked about us fighting. We've almost looked as though we were going to get matched up in the past. This fight or win over Dustin Poirier puts me right back on the title hunt. And that's the goal. So we'll see. So it doesn't matter, November 12th, look, I wish it was five rounds. We're gonna throw hands for three rounds and, and we'll settle it.